Welcome back to CS165 Database Systems. This is the first session, the introduction to uh, the different um, database concepts that we will discuss all throughout the SEM. So this is meant to be an overview and high-level discussion of all the concepts. So let me start with the Database uh, Management System or DBMS. So DBMS is a collection of interrelated uh, data and a set of programs to access those data. So I have a figure here uh, to explain um, the, the, the management, the database management system. So um, the primary goal of the DBMS is actually to provide a way to store and retrieve uh, database information that is both um, convenient and efficient. Uh, so the DBMS is uh, meant to support uh, database applications now usually in two modes. The first mode is uh, data analytics mode and the second mode which is more uh, common is the online transaction uh, processing mode. So we have here um, several database um, application examples. So ano ba yung mga applications na gumagamit ng, ng databases? Uh, yung mga businesses, they needed um, a system to store uh, their uh, company information. So ano yung mga common, regardless of the industry, ito yung three um, common uh, departments in a business. So meron sales, uh, meron accounting, or finance, and then merong HR. So for the sales, they needed a system to store um, customer information, yung lahat ng products nila, yung mga purchases. And then for accounting uh, system naman, of course, the, the finance part, yung mga payments, uh, the receipts, and then yung mga assets ng company. And then uh, for a company, they needed the system to store yung information about their employees, yung salaries na kanilang employees, and yung mga um, payroll taxes. So, um, another example is for manufacturing naman. So, for manufacturing, um, information uh, that they needed to store are something related to uh, management of production, mga inventory ng orders, and, uh, and supply chain. So, uh, yung third example natin is for banking and finance. So, for banking and finance, ito yung most common sa atin because we have, um, we have um, bank accounts. So, the banks uh, store customer information. Uh, so, ito yung mga accounts mo and then um, it also, um, they also needed uh, a system to store yung mga listahan ng mga loans and all of the banking transactions for all the accounts. Um, and then for some, uh, they have credit card transactions and then um, sales and purchases of uh, some uh, financial instruments like stocks, bands, and um, real-time market data. Um, another example is for universities. So, sa universities naman, um, these universities needed a system to store um, information about the enrollment, so yung sa regist registration, and then for um, student grades, uh, student information, etc. Um, ano pa yung mga other examples? So, for airlines naman, so for example, like uh, PAL, Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, they needed the system to store sino yung mga nagpa-reserve, ano yung mga schedule ng mga flights, yung mga open pa na, na seats, and so on. And then, um, yung mga applications na customer-facing for airlines, uh, sila din yung mga nag-access ng mga ganitong uh, information. For telecommunication naman, um, uh, the recording of calls, texts, uh, the data usage uh, regarding dun sa parang, let's say, prepaid or postpaid account, um, sometimes uh, they needed um, to, for, for example, like uh, for postpaid accounts, um, they needed this information to generate the, the monthly bills. For those naman na, uh, um, they needed customer support uh, and sometimes they call it the customer uh, service. They record all the calls so that they know if the issues are um, resolved or pending back. And then uh, in general, uh, we have web-based services. So yung mga web apps running on um, 
uh, on the internet. So one main example is for online retailers. So yung mga um, e-commerce sites. So they needed the system to um, to track or to store yung mga um, order mga orders, uh, yung laman ng cart, um, so that they can use this information for them to customize yung mga recommendation uh, recommendation systems nila. Um, sometimes, uh, yung mga online advertisements din na lumalabas on the website. So, uh, they, they needed uh, a system to store those um, um, products that they needed to advertise. Um, there are other systems that are... Um, are utilizing document uh, databases. So, um, for example, uh, if I publish a paper, um, there are published how parang publishers that store uh, the the books, um, the the papers, and they are stored in um, in a document database. And each of the document have properties mm -hmm. like, um, of course, may ID, siya, may keywords, may topic, may abstract, and so on. So, on a case-to-case -case basis, um, sometimes um, as appropriate in document databases um, compared to transactional databases. Another example I um, navigation systems. So, um, they needed uh, a, a system to, to, store, um, <clears throat> to store locations of various places of uh, interest along with the exact routes of roads, train systems, and buses, etc. So, um, yung mga uh, web uh, or applications like uh, Google, Google Maps, um, what else, uh, Waze, sila yung mga uh, gumagamit ng database then and then they store those information in a, uh, in a database uh, system. So, ano ba exactly yung purpose ng database system? Uh, before I answer this um, this question, <clears throat> in the early days, uh, database applications were built uh, directly on top of file systems. So, bakit file systems? Because before, um, of course, you wanted to have a persistent um, way to, to store the data. Hindi katulad nung parang if we uh, program uh, a particular code and then um, we declare the variables kapag namatay yung ano yung 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 machine uh, nawawala na yung information na yun, not unless um it is stored in a in a file so yung mga uh, certain applications nangangailangan mag-store and retrieve uh, data uses file systems uh, directly so wala silang tinatawag na database management system uh, however um maraming problems kapag ganoon yung ginawang setup uh, meron tayong mga uh, problems na listed dito at naka-highlight siya in pink. So, first issue is uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng data redundancy and inconsistency because data is stored in multiple file formats and these file formats uh, are, are uh, causing duplication of information in different files. Um, at the same time, it also introduces difficulty in accessing the data. So, for example, if um, document-based tapos file system yung ginagamit to store those documents, um, suppose uh, in a university, meron ka nung student record, and suppose you need a list of all the students, you need to go through every file, and you need to write a new program to carry out each of the new tasks. Uh, ang main... Um, Reason din ito is because uh, those files have um, probably different formats. Pwedeng, uh, um, of course, it, it is composed of multiple files. Um, ito rin yung reason why it is difficult to access data. It's because it is it has data isolation. Um, other example, other problem is inter integrity problem. So, um, using a file system. It is difficult to um, to enforce a certain um, constraint about the data. So, for example, um, your account balance, dapat uh, greater than zero, uh, it becomes buried in the program code rather than being uh, stated explicitly. So, it's it's hard to to add new constraints or change existing ones. Kapag ka um, ginamit na siya, let's say in the previous versions of the 
um, of the of the files. Okay, so um, yung other uh, yung last three uh, issues naman is about uh, atomicity, concurrent access, and security problems. So yung atomicity naman of updates. Uh, ano ba muna yung atomicity? atomicity. Um, atomic operations, uh, meaning um, sila yung mga set of operations na either mangyayari or not at all. Um, yung mga ganitong types of operations na kinakailangan ng mga database applications, um, necessary na maging all or nothing because of um, some instances na hindi, pwede, hindi maiiwasan. For example, like um, failures may leave database in an inconsistent state with partial updates carried out. So, yung pinaka um, crucial na example dito ay suppose magta-transfer ka ng fund, fund from one account to another, uh, dapat mangyari siya ng buo na parang nabawasan ka, malalagay sa iba, or not at all. Kesa maputo siya sa gitna na pag-transfer ka na, tapos hindi niya na-receive. So, yung ganong type ng uh, operation or condition ay kaya makapture ng atomicity in a, uh, in a database application na directly to file, hindi mo magagaranti na may atomicity yung mga operations. Um, what uh, else? So, yung current uh, kapag ka multiple users na yung nangangailangan ng concurrent access to the database, um, may mga uh, nag arise na performance uh, issues. So, isa pa ay uncontrolled concurrent accesses can lead to uh, inconsistencies kapag a file systems na yung ginamit natin. And then, um, it's also dif difficult to, um, to ensure yung um, uh, security or yung access rights permission ng per user. Um, although in the file system, meron naman yung parang ano, um, way to identify kung ano yung parang specific access uh, ng particular user, yun ay user-based, pero hindi siya with respect to a user role. So on a per user account, uh, nag apply yung file system-based. So uh, dahil may mga ganitong reasons, um, nakaya nagkaroon ng uh, ng uh, database system kasi it provides or offers solution to all of the um, mentioned problems okay so yung next topic naman natin is about data models so yung data models natin you can think of this as um, abstraction or um, uh, it answers yung underlying structure ng data so, um, this um, data models uh, can be um, a collection of tools that describes um, the data, the data itself, the relationships between the data, the meaning of the data, and the constraints we, um, we, uh, we set to the data. So, may mga different um, types of um, data models. Uh, which is highlighted in this um, rectangle. So, yung sa week 2, i-discuss natin yung um, mga relational model, which is basically um, a type of uh, a database na um, uh, mukhang table. So, it, it is actually a collection of tables to represent um, the data and relationships. So, um, yung relation dito is the uh, table. Um, for for week five, naman, we will be um, sharing with you the entity relationship data model uh, that is mainly used for um, for designing a database. <clears throat> and then uh, we also have um, other data models, na object based. So this is very similar to your um, um, struct model, tapos uh, classes. And then, may mga instances uh, of the of the of the object. So, um, in this particular ano, um, model, uh, it covers the object oriented and um, object relational models. So, for week eight, naman, uh, we will be um, sharing with you yung mga types ng data model na 
somehow may structure so magtatawa ting semi structured data model yung mga yon and um one of the most common um types of those data are um written in formats like uh, XML or JSON so ito yung mga uh, mga may certain structure pero inside the uh, the particular uh, parang segment of that structure um, it can be unstructured so uh, i call it three leg structure of unstructured data or could be free texts and this is uh, commonly used especially for um, for for web based applications so for week 9 naman um, we will be um, discussing other um, models so yung mga models na to ay may mga hindi na lang tree-like structure, uh, but a uh, graph-like structure. So, dito dito natin madidiscuss yung mga graph databases and so on. So, let's um, discuss the relational model. Ano nga ba yung relational model? As I mentioned before, um, all the data is stored in various table. So, this uh, example is actually a tabular data in the relational model. So, um, uh, this example is the instructor table. The instructor is a relation and it is um, defined using the columns and rows. So, yung columns dito are um, the, uh, the uh, ID, name, department name, and salary. And the column names should be unique with some um, naming conventions that dapat i, um, I follow and then um, the rows naman is the uh, uh, number of uh, parang information so each row represents uh, a piece of information so yung naging bento ng relational model is actually um, Ted Codd uh, during uh, award yung 1981 and then after the the relational model which is the theoretical um basis of all the um the relational based uh, mga, mga table like uh, table like databases um ito yung naging nag, naging basis nila si yung result ni Ted Cog. so um Minsan, tinatawag na mga tall tables kapag ka sobrang daming rows. And then, kapag ka sobrang daming na mga columns, we call it um, mga, ano, uh, wide table. So, um, yung mga recent um, technology ng, ng Google na meant for analytics, uh, they are dealing with uh, wide tables or sinasabi nila mga big tables. Okay. So, this is a sample relational database. So a database contains uh, one or more um, relations so or one or more tables. So in this case, the relational database contains two tables, so the instructor table and the department table. And usually they have common um, columns to relate one table and to the other. So in this example, we have the department name as the um, parang, uh, common column ng dalawang tables na to. So, let's uh, look at the instructor table muna. So, meron siyang ID, name, department name, and salary. So, one piece of information is that um, Einstein with an ID 22222 um, um, is in uh, physics uh, department. So, ito yung department name niya. And yung salary niya, let's say, is 95,000. So, if you go to the um, department table, of course, dapat mag-exist si physics na, uh, na, na department dito sa department table. And you can also include more information about this department, like, for example, the building, the budget, etc. So, you can have information about the, depart uh, the department where Einstein, uh, is, uh, Einstein uh, belongs to. So, this is a simple um, example of a relational database. So, um, yung next topic naman natin is about um, the view of data. And um, yung view of data is, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, um, merong, uh, it explains then yung structure of the data in, in three levels. So, we have 
of the physical level, which is the lowest level, uh, it answers how the data is stored in memory storages, yung actual physical location nung, nung data na yun. Uh, so, it could be the block of consecutive bytes, ganyan, na nandito sa um, specific hard disk na to. And then, for the logical level naman, um, it is an abstraction that explains uh, what data are stored and what relationships exist among those data. So, yung um, information about the data type, nung, uh, it, is it a string, is it a, uh, a date, is it a, a number, and yung, um, yung structure, so meaning yung mga different columns na part ng isang relation, dito na define sa logical level. So, uh, may tinatawag na physical data independence, which I will discuss in the next slide. Uh, sabi dito is that um, regardless of the physical level or the physical, how the memory, how the data is stored in the memory in the physical level, hindi siya dapat nakaka-apekto sa logical level. And then the, the, the highest level of view naman is the, um, uh, the, the view the view level with multiple, um, in this example, we have view 1, view 2, and some, some view n. So, um, sometimes, um, one particular view may specific user na naga access nito and hindi niya kailangan i-access yung, uh, yung lahat ng data dun sa database. Kasi for a specific user, uh, ito na yung concern niya. So, it is also important to, to note that um, sometimes, um, also important to note that sometimes, um, yung, yung mga view, um, um, creates a cleaner, uh, security access right to the, to the specific user. So, um, portion lang ng database yung nakikita nila. So, yung next naman is about, um, instances and schemas. Okay. So similar to types and variables in uh, in the programming uh, languages. So meron tayong um, logical schema which is the overall logical structure of the database. So the example is the database consists of information about a set of customers and accounts in the bank and the relationship between them. So this explains yung logical view nung uh, nung uh, how the data is uh, structured and most of the time this and uh, this is the most important because um, regardless of the physical schema hindi to nagbabago and the, the the application developers only needed to know the logical schema um, this is also um, analogous to the type of information of a variable in, in a particular program so yung physical schema naman is the overall uh, physical structure of the database um, it consists of um, saan naka saan naka store yung actual data yung mga data files and um, ano yung uh, type ng storage na uh, ginagamit and then um natawag na instance yung actual content of the database at a particular point in time so yung 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 content ng database natin uh, it changes through time so at a specific uh, parang time point yung image na yon that is an instance of the database so this one is analogous naman to the value of the variable and then uh um yung mga yung mga structure na nandun sa view level level uh, these are called um sub schema and this uh schema describes the the views of database so meron tayong multiple could could have we could have multiple sub schemas given a single database <clears throat> Okay. So, ito yung na-mention ko a while ago about physical data independence. Since uh, we're um, dealing with three possible layers, uh, from physical, logical, to, to view levels, um, the physical data independence is the ability to modify the physical schema without changing the logical schema. So, um, regardless kung uh, ano yung ginaga ano yung actual um, storage devices na ginagamit for the um, storage of actual data files, uh, yung, logical, yung, yung logical schema hindi siya nagbabago. And um, for the purpose of memory um, 
hierarchy uh, optimization um, hindi maaapektuhan yung mga applications using this database okay. so uh, ano naman yung mga as i mentioned a while ago yung mga dbms the DBMS is composed of a set of programs for managing data. Uh, ano naman yung language to um, to instruct how to manage the data? And ito yung mga uh, tiyatawag na database languages and yung marami pang other um, ways, pero yung pinaka-common is the SQL. Actually, hindi ko alam. So, your next topic natin is about database uh, languages. As I mentioned before, uh, the database management system is actually composed of a set of programs. And yung set of programs na yun ay written in uh, SQL or the SQL. And merong two types of uh, languages sa SQL. Una, yung data definition language. Uh, ginagamit ito to specify a database schema. So, given a database design, um, you instruct um, the, uh, the database management system na ganito ang itsura ng structure ng, ng data mo. And then, for the data manipulation language naman, um, this language is used to express uh, database queries and updates. So, um, yung details ng data definition language ay nasa slide nito. Um, as I mentioned a while ago, um, we use uh, yung data definition language to define the database schema. So, uh, a schema in the um, example a while ago na structure, a structor, instructor, ay merong columns na ID, uh, name, department name, and salary. Um, in the database schema, nakaspecify dito yung um, data type for each of the column. And uh, ano yung parang limit ng mga... Uh, mga yun. So this is similar to um, defining the variable, uh, the variables uh, that we will use. So um, the one example, ito yung example na na, um, na language for the DBL. So the data definition language. Uh, is used to specify um, uh, the database schema. So one example is um, yung definition ng example natin a while ago for the instructor. So uh, from the table a while ago, meron tayong columns na for ana apat. Uh, and yung column IDs nila ay ID, name, department name, salary. And then dito rin natin din define kung ano yung date types nila. So si ID ay character na lima, yung uh, hanggang lima yung character. Tapos uh, name is a string na up to 20 symbols. Department name is also a string or varchar na 20, um, 20 symbols. And then the salary is a numeric. I think uh, for this representation, it is um, 8. E2 is um, salary, meaning um, yung numeric value ay, let's say, float na um, 8 hanggang 8. Oh, shit. So, for the data uh, definition language, um, we use this to specify the database schema. One example is uh, specifying the example a while ago. So, for the instructor, diba, we have the ID, the name, department name, and salary. And dito naka-define yung, um, yung data type niya. It is defined na si ID is a character na hanggang lima yung symbol. Tapos, um, name is a worker or a string hanggang 20. And then, salary is numeric. So, um, yung DDL uh, compiler uh, generates a set of table templates stored in the data dictionary. So, yung makukuha natin from DDL is a data dictionary. So, ito yung, um, it contains the, the information about the column names. 
So, ito yung mga other contents pa ng data dictionary. Um, um, it contains um, data about the data, so information about the data. So, nandito nakalagay yung structure or yung database schema, ano yung mga columns niya and ano yung data types. Um, some of the information like integrity constraints. So, ano yung primary key or the ID that uniquely identifies um, a specific um in this case, instructor. And then, um, dito rin naka-define yung authorization or who can access um, yung mga, who can access what. Okay. So, yung second uh, type ng language naman is the data manipulation language, which is DML. So, um, unlike yung isa, which is definition ng nung schema, this one um, um, is used for accessing and updating the data organized by appropriate uh, data models. So, yung DML uh, is also known as the query language. And then, meron tayong two uh, classes of language, yung mga pure and yung mga commercial. So, yung mga pure, um, la uh, pure uh, languages, um, these are uh, yung mga relational algebra, tuple uh, relational calculus, domain relational calculus. These are formal languages that is used um, primarily for proving properties and limits of computational power. And hindi sila yung nagamit for, ano, for, for application development. Um, na hindi mo kailang uh, gamitin tong languages na to. Uh, but if you will develop an application on na uh, magkikwiri ng specific um, um, information doon sa database, uh, you use the commercial part, the commercial uh, languages, which is in this case SQL. And SQL is the most widely used uh, commercial language for um, querying uh, relational uh, databases. Okay. So, um, there, there are actually two uh, basic uh, types of data manipulation language. Yung mga tinatawag na procedural DML and yung mga declarative DML. For the procedural D DML, um, it requires uh, uh, a user to specify what data are needed since diba, yung data manipulation language, we specify kung ano yung data na gusto na makuha ng data application uh, from the database. Um, for the procedural, we describe how to get those data. So parang it's a uh, it's the way how you will you know, manipulate the, the, the tables so that you can get um, the, the actual um, data that you need. For the declarative DML naman, um, it requires a user to specify uh, what data are needed without actually specifying how to get those data. But instead, it's a formal description of the data. So later, we will show some examples of the declarative DML. And... Um, to, to share with you, actually, mas madali ngang malearn yung mga declarative DMLs than the procedural DMLs. And um, sometimes, these declarative DMLs are also uh, referred to as the non-procedural DMLs. And um, yung mga portion of a DML that involves yung information retrieval uh, is called a query language. So, uh, since we mentioned about uh, the query language in the previous slide, uh, let us introduce, ano, na, ano nga ba talaga yung, yung SQL? So, SQL is a non-procedural or declarative uh, DML. So, a query takes as input um, one or more tables or relations and always returns a single table. So, hindi siya pwedeng mag-return ng multiple tables in a single uh, query. So, example is, uh, let's say, uh, find all instructors in computer science department. So, um, we will explain uh, yung, um, yung, yung mga select from and where in the next a uh, few uh, weeks kapag uh, didiscuss natin SQL. But the idea is um, you describe how, how you describe what data to, ano, to, to get and by using the, uh, the SQL query language. So you select the name from the relation instructor parang where the department name is equal to this string. So that's one example of an SQL uh, query.
So, ang dapat i-return nito is one table consisting of only um, one column. So, yun yung mga names uh, in the instructor table. So, uh, what's uh, important is to note that SQL is not a Turing machine equivalent language. So, hindi pwedeng mag-isa lang si, si, si SQL tapos comparable na siya sa Python, sa C, sa C++, sa Java, and so on. So, hindi siya, hindi niya kaya yung uh, gawin, lahat ng kayang gawin uh, ng Python or ng other um, Turing machine equivalent language. So, to be able to compute uh, complex functions, Si SQL, it is usually embedded in some higher level languages. For example, um, yung mga SQL query natin, sometimes sinalagay siya sa loob ng mga C, Python, or Java na codes. And yung application programs, um, it generally accesses uh, databases through one of the language extensions to allow embedded SQL. So, minsan gumagamit ng um, application program interface or APIs. May mga connectors yung mga application program mo, let's say, written in Java or Python. Connected siya, ay gumagamit siya ng tinatawag na mga connectors, uh, itong uh, ODBC for mga open database. And then, meron tayong mga JDBC naman, a connector for Java applications. And it allows SQL queries to be sent to a specific database. Okay. So, um, uh, yung database access from application program. So, yung mga query language such as SQL, since I mentioned a while ago that these are not as powerful as a universal Turing machine, uh, SQL does not support actions such as input from users, output to display, or communication over the network. Yung mga ganong uh, ganong um, ganong programs ini implement siya using other languages and then um, such computations and actions yun nga ay tinatawag na uh, yung ay tinatawag gamit yung host language katulad ng mga uh, languages nito and then meron lang SQL code inside those uh, language na pwede kang mag-embed so yung mga application programs natin um na written in other um, languages, um, they perform other computations and then if they needed the, the data, they call the DBMS using some connector, um, ODBC or um, JDB, uh, JDBC um, to retrieve information. And for example, if the computation is done, some, uh, sometimes they, they also store those information to the database. Okay, so since um, um, we're talking already about relational databases, and um, na mentioned ko din a while ago that we have actually a DDL or uh, a language specifically um, designed to to uh, to define kung ano yung magiging structure ng database. Uh, meron din tayong dapat pagdaanan, which is the database, uh, designing the actual database. So, in the in designing the actual database, um, we need to uh, identify the general structure of it um, phys uh, phys dun sa, mula sa physical design up to the logical um, design. So, ang kailang i-decide is on, uh, on the database. Uh, so, the logical design, the output here is the database schema. And then the database uh, design requires um, that we find a good collection of relation schemas. So, yung good collection of relation schemas dictated siya ng dalawang, um, uh, dalawang um, players ng pag-design ng database. The business, dis yung mapoprovide ng business decision is that uh, ano yung mga information or attributes that we should um, store in the database. Sa computer science, decision naman is that uh, ano yung mga um, relation schemas should we have and how should the attributes be distributed among those various relation schemas. So, um, it's, it's, it always starts with what attributes uh, kung ano yung i-record sa database. And then, yung computer science naman, uh, ang gagawin niya is how to organize those attributes na gusto mong i-store depending on what um, type of application uh, will be uh, using those information. 
And on the physical design naman, um, um, we need to define um, the physical lay layout of the database. Um, what specific type of storage we will use for the ano, for storing those um, database files and so on. So sometimes uh, as a physical design, it's also important to know um, the different architectures uh, that we uh, can use for the, for the database design. Okay. So um, the database engine okay, is actually um, um, partitioned into modules and each uh, module is responsible for the um, overall system. So I mentioned a while ago that um, the DBMS is also a collection of programs and yung collection of programs na to ay part ng mga uh, different modules. So meron tayong three main module, module, modules. So yung storage manager, uh, the query processor, and then the transaction uh, management. In the three modules ng DBMS, yung ginagawa ng storage manager is... Um, um, it manages okay. it manages yung actual storage so um, hindi siya ganun ka trivial because um, some, uh, most of the time uh, we use database to store large amounts of ano, of data and then um, we need, uh, sometimes the actual physical storage or uh, pieces na maliliit lang yung capacity and then gagamitin yun to store a larger ano, larger uh, information Yung query processor naman um, is necessary to simplify and facilitate yung pag-access ng data. So, tuwing nagkakaroon ng, ano, ng specific DML, yung query processor yung nag-handle kung paano niya kukunin yun sa, ano, sa, sa database. And then, for the transaction management, um, necessary naman siya so that um, we can ensure that all operations are atomic. Okay. So, um, for the storage manager, um, a program module, uh, this one is a program module that provides the interface between low levels data stored in the database and the application programs and queries submitted to the system. So, the storage manager is responsible uh, to, to do the following task. Um, so, interaction with the OS file manager because at the lower level, parang um, database files pa rin yung involved, meron ka lang layer na nag-organize nung, um, nung files na yun, which is the role of the DBMS. Um, it the date the storage manager uh, ensures uh, na efficient yung pag store retrieve and pag update ng data dun sa mga different possible locations ng data and um, yung ginagawa rin ng uh, storage manager is um, um, to um, to ensure na may authoriz uh, tama yung access or yung authorization uh, ng person or ng user na gusto mag-access ng data and that um, it um, it uh, ensures uh, some integrity um, constraints and so on. So uh, this example is um, showing you how a particular application program can um, call yung storage manager. So I mentioned a while ago that the actual physical storage nito is composed of multiple uh, smaller um, disks. So, we have types of disks. We have, let's say, mga faster, um, faster um, storage devices like SSD that have different capacity. And then, we have more capacity, more capacity, more cheaper, but more expensive. So, the storage manager um, takes uh yung responsibility of storing it to appropriate um physical storages okay so ano yung mga um okay so yung storage manager uh, it also implements several data structures as part of the, um, the physical system implementation. So, yung mga actual data files, ito yung mga um, storage files ng mismong database itself. And then, um, 
siya rin yung nag, uh, nag-implement at nag-maintain ng data dictionary, uh, which stores yung, of course, metadata about the structure of the database. And then, siya rin yung nag-maintain ng, um, ng indices. Um, indices or the actual location of um, of data files in specific physical storages. So these indices are also used for um, fast access to, to specific data items. So uh, similar to hash tables. Yung second component is called the query processor. Uh, sa query processor naman, um, it is composed of three uh, parang sub-modules. And yung sub-modules na to, uh, gumagawa siya ng uh, may, may sp- very specific purposes. So yung first ay yung interpreter. So yung query um, interpreter ay ang uh, ginagawa is given a data definition language. Ang ginagawa niya is ni-interpret niya yun so that it can create the data dictionary. And then um, yung mga... Uh, SQL naman na data uh, manipulation language. For example, a given a query language, um, dumadaan yun sa compiler module and then it uh, creates a set of low-level instructions na ini-implement ng evaluation engine. So yung evaluation engine natin, yung mismong execution, kung saan ina-execute yung mga low-level instructions given a particular query. And then the um, the last module is the transaction management. So um, definition lang, a transaction is a collection of operations that performs a single logical function in a database application. So yung transaction management component, it ensures that the database remains in a consistent or in a correct uh, state despite uh, nagkaroon ng system failures. So um, uh, to... Um, to, rec- uh, to recall, uh, may mga tinatawag tayong mga um, atomic uh, operations. So, um, the transaction management ensures na um, tong tatlong items na to ay nangyayari. So, um, all operations ay um, all or nothing. Tapos, um, we can also make sh- uh, sure that the, the data, uh, regardless kung mag-fail siya or something, consistent yung kanyang state. Um, ibig sabihin walang um, inconsistencies doon sa mga multiple uh, tables natin. And then, um, kahit mamatay, let's say, yung ano, at nag-fail, um, nandun pa rin yung data at hindi siya mawawala. So, yun yung tinatawag na durability. Ngayon, si transaction management, may ginagawa siyang isa pang bagay, which is yung um, uh, concurrency control. Yung concurrency control, um, it controls the interaction among um, concurrent transactions to ensure na um, regardless kung um, nag-implement yung nang sabay-sabay ito, mga different operations na to, um, walang magiging inconsistent dun sa data. Meron tayong two types of architecture, yung two-tier architecture and the, the three-tier architecture. I think on the next slide, mas ma-define nat- ma-differentiate natin yung dalawang types of architecture. In this case, um, meron tayong uh, drawing ng two-tier and then meron tayong drawing ng three-tier architecture. For the two-tier architecture, um, yung application mo, which is on the client side, um, it connects um, through the database system using the network na nasa server side. And then, kapag three-tier uh, architecture naman, yung application mo is composed of two parts. Meron kang application client na nasa client side, and then meron kang application server uh, na nasa uh, server side. Okay. So, sila yung nag-uusap, and then the application server um, requests for um, connects to the database system in the server. So, ito yung uh, main difference ng two types of um, architecture. So, we will also discuss uh, ano ba yung mga users ng database natin. 
um, there are actually four different types of database system users. Meron tayong mga naive users. Um, and major most of the time, mga naive users yung gumagamit ng databases. Sila yung mga um, quote-unquote unsophisticated users who interact with the system by invoking one of the application programs that have been written uh, previously. So, sila yung mga users ng web applications na nag access ng data through the applications na gawa na. And then, uh, may mga ano naman, application programmers. These um, users are um, yung, uh, comp uh, computer professionals who write um, application programs. So, they need to know the um, logical schema of the database so that they can, uh, or uh, at least the sub-schema, for them to be able to know um, to know uh, what are the available um, information that they could use in the um, data application. Meron tayo ding mga tiyatawag na sophisticated users. So yung mga uh, sophisticated users, they interact with the system without um, writing um, programs. In fact, um, they are using data-based query language or using tools such as data analysis softwares. So sila yung mga usually gumagawa ng mga sub-schema for further uh, processing. So sometimes yung mga processing um, procedures na yun are data analysis software like visualization, minsan pwede yung ano, additional um, machine learning techniques, etc. So um, yung mga sophisticated users, users natin, um, they should also know kung ano yung logical schema na define ng, um, ng database uh, manager or administrator. So, meron din tayong mga tinatawag ng mga specialized users. So, ito yung mga, um, mga hindi, hindi usual na database application. So, sometimes um, uh, sila yung mga uh, gumagamit ng nag nag store ng mga information like um, um, CAD data, graphic data, audio, and, so, and video. So, ito yung mga um, main um, database users. Pero ang pinaka-important sa given database management system is the database administrator or tiyatawa rin DBA. So, this person has the central control over the system. And yung mga ginagawa ng DBA is the schema definition. Um, it o, They are also in charge of um, uh, restructuring yung, yung storage and identifying yung mga access uh, method definition. Um, what else? Yung mga uh, physical organization modification, depending on the architecture, um, granting or... Uh, Ano, parang authorizing other data uh, users for data access. So they give permissions to di different user roles. Um, they also do the routine maintenance to check um, periodically kung um, na ba back up ba yung system, kung uh, ano ba yung utilization ng system, to know kung may gagawin ba silang um, some improvements on the database architecture or, or they will allot more storage device. And then, um, they also ensure na enough yung free disk space para hindi magkaroon ng denial of service um, for normal operations and for upgrading this space as required. So, they monitor jobs running on the database and ensuring that performance is not degraded by, um, by very expensive tasks submitted to, to some users. So, um, ito na yung last part, the history of the database system. So, it started 1950s pa in 1960s. So, yung ginagamit dito pa lang na computers are um, uh, mga uh, punch cards pa for, ano, for programming and for, for, uh, for um, storing input. And they are using uh, magnetic tapes for storage. Nung late 1960s and 1970s, um, Hard disk uh, allowed direct access to data na. So, they are also using network and hierarchical uh, data models in widespread use. Noong 1960s and 1970s, dito rin na-invento ni Ted Codd yung um, theoretical model ng relational data model. And with this um, result, uh, nanalo siya ng ECM Turing Award for this work. And then, dahil nga nagkaroon na ng theoretical basis for um, commercial use, nag, uh, dito din nag-start ang IBM research and 
magbigin sila ng kanilang system or na prototype. So, dito na nag-start na makomercialize ang database. And kasabayan nito si na Oracle na mag-produce ng commercial relational databases. So, uh, dahil nagkaroon na ng kick sa industry, uh, ng, high, uh, ng utility, yung high performance uh, transaction processing. So, ito yung mga financial systems. Sila yung mga unang uh, nagkaroon ng database management systems. Noong 1980s naman, uh, nagkaroon ng um, uh, standardization sa industry. And dito na nagkaroon ng uh, limitations due to um, high performance transaction processing. Nakatanil na yung limitations ng paggamit ng um, single core or shared centralized databases in enterprises. That's why nagkaroon na ng parallel and distributed database systems. And then, na-invento rin yung um, object-oriented database system noong 1980s. Noong 1990s, uh, na nagkaroon ng, um, ng dito na introduce yung other mode of um, usage for databases. So, no, since noong 1990s, nagkaroon na ng decision support systems or mga database applications na nag-gain, uh, nag- uh, obtain ng data and then nagpa-process ng data for the purpose of uh, mining uh, useful information for enterprises. So, uh, nung 1990s din, nagkakaroon na ng um, ganito kalaking uh, uh, database uh, size. So, yung multi-terabyte na data warehouses. And then, nung nagkaroon na rin ng um, existence ng mga web commerce. So, nung 2000, nagkaroon na ng challenge called the big data. And it is driven by the fact that iba-iba na yung format ng mga data types. And hindi na lang sapat yung SQL to model the, the content of the database. Um, because of this, uh, semi-structured data became very uh, important. So, yung mga um, compact data exchange formats like XML and JSON, ginagamit na siya to store info, uh, information like spatial data or yung mga data that includes uh, geographical information and those data that are coming from social network platforms. So, because of the social network platforms, uh, doon din na-develop yung tinatawag the graph databases because it's very important for, um, for social networks to maintain the connection between between entities or between nodes. In the latter part of the decade, the use of data analytics and data mining in enterprises uh, became very uh, important. So, nagkaroon ngayon ng mga database systems that are uh, very particular to this specific uh, purpose. Yung mga systems na to are um, column store, so hindi sila yung mga row-oriented storage but column-oriented storage because majority ng mga data for data analytics ay um, uh, wide yung, yung tables. Yung majority ng composition ng big data comes from textual or semi-structured. Uh, and since uh, we're dealing with and since we're dealing with a uh, huge amount of those types of data, uh, it led to the development of um, frameworks that will allow massive uh, parallel uh, applications. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na, na MapReduce. So, yung context ng NoSQL before, they are not really uh, capable of doing SQL-based queries, but at the moment, uh, not only SQL yung kaya niyang i-handle. So that's the end of chapter one. Um, our next session we will be focusing on relational uh, models.